Some shows don't need a celebrity narrator to introduce the show, but this show does. In a world filled with endless opportunities, why would two men who have built 13 multi-million dollar businesses altruistically invest five hours per day to teach you the best practice business systems and moves that you can use? Because they believe in you and they have a lot of time on their hands. They started from the bottom, now they're here. It's the Thrive Time Show starring the former U.S. Small Business Administration's Entrepreneur of the Year, Clay Clark, and the entrepreneur trapped inside an optometrist body, Dr. Robert Zutner. Two men, eight kids, co-created by two different women, 13 multi-million dollar businesses. Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now we're on the top. Teaching you the systems to get what we got. Cutting Dixon's on the hooks, I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five, that's why I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's a C and Z up on your radio, and now three. All right, folks, if you're listening today and you want to start a successful company, guess what? That is what I do is I help people grow successful companies. And it's actually very easy to do so if you have a proven plan. So when you go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire, you can download a free copy of my newest book called A Millionaire's Guide, How to Become a Sustainably, How to Become Sustainably Rich. A Millionaire's Guide, How to Become Sustainably Rich. How do you build a business that creates both time and financial freedom? So in my case, you can uh, you know, last yesterday, last night I was in the pool with my son, teaching him how to grow his business. Uh spent three hours with my son in a car yesterday because he's 16, he's learning how to drive. And he needs somebody crazy enough to ride shotgun as he cuts people off in traffic and generates uh, waves from cars. People giving him the middle finger. Uh, he needs someone to ride shotgun. Uh, I went to Whole Foods, got my wife some incredibly expensive, fresh pressed beet juice. You don't have time freedom and financial freedom. You can't do that. You know, so how do you create time freedom and financial freedom? And so we're joined here today with the founder of Bunky Life, uh, who joins us here. Uh, David Frazier, welcome on to the Thrive Time Show. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me, Clay. Hey, we're going to, I appreciate you being here. We're going to go 90 miles an hour today. We're talking about eight examples of effective guardrail business systems. Now, Rochelle Voth, to my right, um, she happens to uh, work in the medical space. Uh, the organization she's with is called Meehan MD. That's who she's with. It's Meehan MD. Uh, Rochelle, can you share with everybody about, uh, quickly what you do for a living? Thank you. Yes, I'm a physician assistant. We are currently trying to help treat anybody who's had injuries or side effects from the COVID mRNA shots and or COVID long haul. If you're still suffering with symptoms from that, we'd love to help you. If you're in the medical, if you're looking for a doctor you can trust, I refer people to these guys and they don't die. It's incredible. So I'm going to read off these eight examples of effective guardrail business systems that you need to have in your medical clinic, in your bunky life, or any other business. And I want to get your take on it, Dave and Rochelle. So here we go. One, you need to have systems that provide transparency within your organization. Think about like a UPS package tracking device, a tracking system. The system allows both customers and employees uh, of UPS to see where a package is when it's being delivered. But a lot of businesses, you, you assign an action item to somebody and you don't know, is it done? Is it not done? Who's doing it? Where is it? So today, one of my wonderful clients wanted us to take a video, edit it for him and uh, upload it to YouTube and put it on his website. Well, there's three different people that had to touch that. So how do you manage that? So, David, I want to ask you this. In Bunky Life, how important is it when the customer goes to BunkyLife.com and they place an order, what kind of processes, I guess, do you have in place? Or what's a process that you have in place that verifies that when I fill out the form that somebody calls me and then somebody sells it, uh, sells me the Bunky Life and someone ships it? What kind of processes do you have in place there, sir? So... Uh, a couple things happen. So one is that they are uh, instantly emailed. So they'll get a, a response right away and that'll have our powerful, um, you know, introductory video. It'll, it'll reference our reviews, a link to our reviews. So they're getting that instantly. That's like a, an automated system. But in addition to that, we also have a human will read it within an hour or so. And then if they're not responded to, eventually it'll trigger a text message that will actually text one of our salespeople and say, Hey, uh, you know, this person uh, filled out a, uh, 
for example, the bunkylife.com slash clay um, quiz, right? So if you're might be ready for the bunky life, you go there, you fill it out, and it'll actually text uh, they'll text us if uh, if, we, if they don't get a response, you know, within an hour. Now, again, these are systems you want to have in place to make sure that your business does not grow out of control. People always tell me, they say, I don't want to grow a business because I, I might lose the quality. True, fair. By default, if you plant a garden, you don't pull the weeds, you will have a quality problem. But if you build these guardrails in place, you're going to have a successful company. So I ask you rhetorically, what systems do you have in place to make sure that things are getting done? Second, you want to have dashboards that show daily activity and the results of each employee. I don't know if you saw that, Rochelle, yesterday, but I I'm always asking James and the team out here how many tickets we sold. Correct. Yeah, you, you see board there. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly. And so everybody out there has to make 300 calls a day. So people that have filled out the form, they go to thrivetimeshow.com and they want to attend one of our workshops. It's pretty crazy. But people will fill out the form sometimes late at night, and we have to get a hold of them. And so when you have hundreds of people reaching out, our team needs to make 300 calls a day. That we, and, we, and we track it on the whiteboard. What do you think would happen, Rochelle, not in my company and or your company or in Dave's company, but what would happen if, if we didn't track the numbers? Yeah, you lose use your engagement. You would have people fall through the cracks. Interesting, but most businesses don't track. And so the receptionist says he's making the calls, but is he? Probably not. So I would recommend everybody out there as an action step, I recommend that you would put those, some sort of metric tracking system in place so that you know that your people are actually doing what they're supposed to do. And I also recommend a company called clarityvoice.com. This is a great call recording company. This allows you to listen to the calls. So my team, um, this morning at seven, we play back the calls to make sure the quality is there. We're following the scripts. And if you don't have call recording, you don't have systems in place, things tend to drift. Third is checklists. Super Dave. If somebody, uh, you know, were to buy a bunky life and you didn't send them directions, when you said, I don't know, figure it out, what would happen if you didn't provide checklists and instructions to the buyers of bunkylife.com bolt on bedrooms? They'd be building things upside down. They'd be building it wrong. They'd be calling and yelling at us. So we have to make sure they get it uh, early, they get it in the middle of the process, and they get it uh, a third time just to make sure they've got it. This is big. And again, the, this, I was telling people last week on the show, for anybody who follows the show, um, I was looking at going to Woodland Hills Mall. I'm still looking at it, trying to get a, a bunkie to put inside the mall as like a kiosk so I could market my other services and businesses and ultimately market the bunkie life as well. And the mall has a checklist. It, you know, you have, the booth can only be so high so as to not block the view from other vendors. So I'm working through it. And somebody's already thought through it. There's a checklist and I'm working through it. But again, checklists do keep your business from growing out of control. Point number four, you want to have a fixed expense and variable expense budget. Now, Rochelle, I'm not trying to paint you into a corner here, but when you prescribe a patient something for anything, so let's just say somebody had a any type of issue, I won't get into the specifics, but you give them a certain prescription. Do you have somewhat of an idea of what it's going to cost? Traditionally, yes. I work very close to our pharmacists, so we we talk with them. So you know whether you're prescribing them something that's going to be hundreds of dollars or thousands of Correct. dollars, or right? Okay, so you're you're aware of that. Yes. Now, what would happen though if you had a complete detachment from what things cost? Like if you didn't know as a medical professional? Sure. Well, some of my patients wouldn't get therapy or help because yeah. they couldn't afford it, and I wouldn't have known that. And then I would have maybe said, "Well, why did you get better?" And they'd say, "Because you prescribed me something that's too expensive for me to actually get." So everybody out there, if you're listening today, you need to have a, a real understanding of what things cost. So you want to make a document today where you track all of your fixed expenses and all of your variable expenses. Fixed expenses are things that are going to happen every month, you know, like uh, rent, air conditioning, utilities, that kind of thing. Variables are things that are, are new and they're typically associated with the products you deliver. So hypothetically, if everybody goes to bunkylife.com and everybody buys two Bunky Life uh, bolt-on bedrooms right now, then all of a sudden, Dave, your costs would go up for lumber and supplies because you sold more. Um, Dave, why is it important for you to keep track of your variable expenses there at BunkyLife.com? So we want to be tracking um, that because we want to know uh, if we're profitable. If, if there's a variable expense that's starting to exceed or cut into our margins, then it might actually be shrinking into the point where we're actually losing money each Bunky we sell, which would be terrible. So if we don't track variable expenses, we don't know what our actual uh, cost per unit profit margin is next is scorecards and scoreboards uh, this is big a scorecard you know did, did you win did you lose so in my office we keep track of how well people are doing and it turns out this guy over here his name's joey this and this guy 
He's he's dating my daughter right now. This guy right here. I'm keeping an eye on this guy. And uh, he's a great guy. This is Joey out there. I'm looking at him right now. I'm looking at his beautiful head. This guy, he is one of the best employees in here. I think he's doing it just to impress me. I think that's what he's doing. But I track on the scoreboard. He does a great job. He provides great results. He's a search engine content writer. But he knows he's doing a good job because we track it on a scoreboard where everybody sees. So everybody knows he's clearly in the top 10 because he's on a scoreboard. Now, if we didn't have a scoreboard and we just played the game and didn't know the score, that'd be kind of a weird game, right? So I encourage everybody, have a scoreboard, have a scorecard in your business. The next thing you need to have is standardized, compliant contracts. You don't want to be negotiating a new contract, a new agreement every time. Uh, Rochelle, when people come to mehanmd.com, there's probably standard paperwork you have people fill out before That's the correct. visit. Is that accurate? Or are you hacking away on your new idea and new vision for a new paperwork uh, system every time they come in? No, we have forms you fill out and pre-questionnaires so we can get to know you early and uh, fast. Isn't that interesting, though? Again, that's that's what a productive company looks like. So whether you're talking about scaling a medical clinic like MeehanMD.com or Bunky Life, you got to have standardized and compliant contracts. Get them done. If you don't have them, get them done. Seven, official policies and procedures. The other day, uh, unfortunately, I know, I, know, I know it seems shocking. I had to fire somebody. Crazy. And in our office, there are certain things that you do, and if you do them, they'll get you fired. And so I had to sit down with the young person. I said, hey. Did this event happen? They said, yes, it did. I said, did, are you aware of what you were doing? Oh, yeah. Are you aware you put that in your body while working? Oh, yeah. Yes. Are you, uh, do, do you, any thoughts? They go, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done it. You know, I'm going, well, our policy, our procedure that we've talked about that you've signed states that if you do that, you don't have a job. And they go, is there any way? Please, please, I need this job. And I'm going, well, before you put that in your body and did that thing that caused you to lose touch with reality for several hours at a time, you probably should have thought about that. But now the consequence is the removal of this job opportunity from you. I'm not going to go attack you. Hopefully you find another job. But David, whether it's an employee thing or a, or a, a non-personal, non-human thing, what would happen to your business if you didn't have stay if you didn't have standardized policies and procedures in place? I think a lot of people would be leaving the factory with less fingers than they started. It's true. And now begin. Someone says, can I see these documents, Clay? Where can I find these? Well, this is great, folks. If you go to thrivetimeshow.com, okay, and then you go to forward slash treasure trove, ooh, treasure trove, um, there you will find you can download all these systems, all these templates, all these documents. They're all free for you. If you want to come join us at one of our in-person Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops, you can do that. Um, we do them every two months, and uh, it's $250 or whatever you can afford to pay. So if you're in a tight spot, you can do that. Also, again, folks, we have thousands of testimonials. I just got off the phone with a guy just a moment ago who has a very successful company, and in his mind, he thinks he can't grow more than $500,000 in, uh, in sales per year. He thinks he can't make a profit of more than $500,000 a year. And I literally, I just talked to him before we hopped on, and I said, hey, I work with someone in the exact same industry as you who nets $5 million a year. So you can do it. You just have to have the systems and processes, and sometimes, sometimes it helps to be in the room with other people that have had success and to hear how they did it, how you can do it. And it's a two day interactive business workshop. We talk about business, uh, branding, accounting, marketing, sales. We answer all your questions. It's very interactive. There's 24, um, almost 24 class hours of training during two days. You leave knowing what to do. We have a workbook you can follow. Uh, Super Dave, uh, bunkylife.com is the website to go to. If people want to learn more about Bunky Life bolt on bedrooms, what's the best place for them to learn about your famous log cabin bunkies that can easily be built in a weekend without a permit or a second mortgage, sir? Definitely bunkylife.com. There's the whole rabbit hole. You can go down there. But if you want to find out if you might be a good client, and you might be ready for the Bunky Life, go to bunkylife.com slash clay. That's bunkylife.com, B-U-N-K-I-E life.com slash C-L-A-Y. Bunkylife.com forward slash clay. I hope to be a, a proud owner of a Bunky Life very soon once I get this mall approval, Woodland Hills Mall approval. So folks keep praying for Woodland Hills Mall. We got to get that Bunky Life in the Woodland Hills Mall. Super Dave, thank you for allowing us to fit you in here and during this crazy schedule today. I really do appreciate your time, sir. And we'll talk to you next week. Yep. Thanks so much, Clay. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Well, Thrive Nation, on today's show, I, I we're going to give you a, a lot of encouragement because we're going to introduce you to an actual human who's not a hologram, who's had massive success. John Kelly, welcome on to the Thrive Time Show. How are you, sir? Oh, man, doing great. Great. Uh, glad to be here. Thanks, hey, thanks for having me on. You're welcome. And you're welcome. Now, where are you based, sir? And what's the name of your company? So we're out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The name of the company is Kelly Construction Group. 
And our is there office a, is really in Walker, but Baton Rouge is the closest city, if you will. What's the website people can go to if they want to verify that you're not a hologram? Kellyconstructiongroup.com. And how long have uh, how long have has Sean worked with you, or have we worked with you within like a business coaching relationship? Uh, I, would, I would say like mid two thousand eighteen to two thousand nineteen. Early is that right, Sean? Yeah, May twenty third will be our five year anniversary. Wow! Now, now yeah. a lot of times people get together. Uh, I see a lot of businessy people. They get together businessy and they kind of a businessy environment and they talk about visions and dreams, but they don't actually execute and produce results. Not that they're bad people. It's just, they talk in circles, they have ideas, but they don't execute. What kind of a growth Sean has uh, John Ken Kelly been able to see with his company over these past five years? Has he grown by 4%? Oh, it's, it's a massive percentage. I, I had him go ahead and open up his tracking sheet here. Cause I know our listeners really appreciate the hard numbers and we've been tracking with John Kelly since we very first started with uh, Kelly construction group. Can you tell us, John, where were your revenues um, at the end of the year in 2018? Yeah, at the end of 2018, we were we were probably just below that $2 million mark. And uh, I think the question was, how much have we grown? You know, this last year, we were right at the $8 million mark. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in, in that few years, we've, we've got up to around $8 million a year. So from $2 million to $8 million, now, Sean, again, I am, you know, uh, is 8 million more than two in your professional opinion? It, it, professionally, I have to say it is. I think it's roughly in the neighborhood of, of four times as much. It's like 400%. Okay. And, and so again, and John Kelly's not a hologram. He's a real guy. We mentioned his website. So now the question is, what are the things that you guys have done together? Because the way that a coaching relationship works, much like a, hiring a personal trainer, I mean, you could pay the fee, uh, hire a personal trainer, but if you never show up for the workouts, it's hard to get any results. Uh, much like, uh, you know, buying groceries, if you don't put them in your car and take them home, it doesn't benefit you. Um, you guys have worked together to achieve a lot of success. What kind of stuff have you guys worked on together, Sean? I was looking back at the very first week of notes and we were working on the Google presence right off the bat. I know uh, John loves it when I bring up his Google reviews every single week, but he is the highest and most reviewed uh, general contractor in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So um, Google was a big piece initially, and we've developed that into additional marketing we can talk about today too. But um, we have the numbers for Google. We did a deep dive before this show today to determine what our return on was with the Google marketing. Can I share those numbers here? Yeah, let's sh share those numbers. Surely you shall share. Surely I shall share these numbers. So these are all numbers that John dove back into his leads to find, but uh, we've spent about, and correct me if I'm wrong on any of these, John, but on Google, we have spent total dollars towards that marketing um, $24,607. Does that seem right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then out of that, we brought in $3,532,537 worth of sales. Wait, 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 wait. How much did you invest in the Google advertisement? That was $24,607 were invested. Yep. And we made $3.532 million with 537 on top of that. So five million or three million five hundred and thirty two thousand five hundred and thirty seven we got very specific wow okay <laughs> so i gotta ask this john i'm gonna pull this up this is a, a diagram you maybe have seen this before maybe you haven't uh, i'm gonna pull this up here this is sort of how the linear approach that we sort of look at your business behind the scenes here and this could be if anyone wants to download this you can go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire and you can download this from page five of my newest book how to become a millionaire but Establishing revenue goals. Do you have those clear, uh, John, in, in your mind, like as far as you don't have to share them, but I mean, do you have clearly in your mind goals for your company now? Yes, we do. And, and that's something we kind of revisit, you know, yearly, I guess, if you will. Now, as far as the numbers to break even, a lot of times people hear a big number. If you're maybe new to entrepreneurship, you hear a big number, you're like, wow, this guy's awesome. He probably wears gold plated shoes. Uh, but then if you if you're if you've been self-employed, you're probably going, there's probably a lot of expenses there. Uh, so the number is to break even. Why is that important for you to know how much sales you have to do just to keep the lights on? Yeah, if you, if you want to make money, you got to know what it costs to, to do the business, right? Because you got to make sure you make at least that. So yeah, we, we know the break even number. And again, that's something that we uh, we look at often in our meetings. 
Now, the number of hours you're willing to work. Um, one thing about you that's always been fun is you're just a kind person. Sean's always bragging on you behind the scenes. Uh, you're just a, a nice guy. And uh, it seems like you're a, a committed guy. You know, people love you. Um, and you you probably have, you know, hours that you're, you you work hard, but you also know when it's time to spend time with family and that kind of thing. Um, did, was that something you guys had to work through together? Or have you, because we have some clients that work a four-day work week and some that work six. I mean, has that been something, John, that you've had to kind of figure out in your own life, your, the rhythm that works best for you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think I tell Sean this from time to time, but it's like I, I never I never answer an out of town number. So whatever whatever day he called, uh, somehow we connected. It was an out of town number, but I answered and uh, and caught me in a in a stage of burnout for sure. Like I was kind of wore out with everything that was happening with the business, and uh, he said all the right stuff. Like basically, hey, we can we can take this grind and make it something you can enjoy, and uh, and we we started doing that. So early on, I was working tons of hours. I still work kind of whatever, whatever hours it takes, but we've been able to put some pieces in place that definitely gets me on a lot more regular schedule, even get to slip out of here and do some stuff I want from time to time. So, so yeah, we, we look at hours. And like I say, early on, I was working crazy hours. I still yeah. do whatever it takes, but we definitely got that dialed back to a lot more controllable number now. Now bragging on Sean and you both, because it's a really is a, it's a win-win relationship. Um, coaching is kind of a bizarre thing because, you know, um, I, in my own life, I hire an accountant. Now for full disclosure, I use a company called CCK. I hope that my recommendation of them doesn't hurt their business, but I work with CCK. And uh, the reason why we pay them thousands of dollars a month is because I want my numbers to not drift. Just like you're driving a car, if you're driving a car and you, you go, you're in the, you used to say, wow, I'm in the shoulder. You don't want to drift. And the purpose of coaching is to repetitively go over the same things every week and to make sure that a business owner isn't drifting. And what I found is people like yourself that embrace that, you know, you kind of like maybe, I don't know if it's the accountability or if it's just the steering or the course correction. Could you maybe talk about the importance of going over those same repetitive core action items every week? Yeah, no, I think accountability is the biggest thing, Clay, just because it's it's important stuff, but as a business owner, you get really bogged down with just everything that's going on, and those are some of the easiest things to neglect. So having Sean there uh, every Friday keeps keeps me a little bit on point. That's not to say I do all the uh, – that's not to say I get it right every time, Sean, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I do my best effort, and, and it's uh, – yeah. It's good to have that accountability and we look at it week in and week out. And, and, and since we have continued to look at it, we are able to stay on point uh, way better than we have in the past. And that website again, Sean, what's the website we need to go to, to check it out there. Kelly, Kelly construction group group. Okay. So I'm going to pull this up so people can see it's Kelly construction group. You'll want to, okay. you'll want to go to uh, the, the second one there oh, yeah. because there's two Kelly construction yep. groups. There's only one in um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A lot of so confusion. Got to rise above it. Type yeah, in, uh, here we go. Type in Kelly construction group. Kelly construction group. Dot com. That's, dot com. that's K E L L Y. Not K E L L Y. Type in it in a lot of struggles. You got to keep your finger on the home. Home row here, folks. <laughs> Kellyconstructiongroup.com. Oh, yeah. Click and enter, Close waiting enough. for it to happen. Feel the flow. Work it. There it is. Okay. So when we go to the website, we see the website. We see, okay, that's the result. Okay. But we go back here to this, this, this page. Um, your unique value proposition. You guys work together on figuring out what it is that you do that sets you apart from the competition. Um, your gallery clearly showcases what you do. How how is that helpful for you to have somebody sit down with you and figure out, okay, what is your niche? Yeah, no, that's that's big too. And obviously, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, we, I wouldn't say that we have a really uh, a really tight niche, but. Where, where we try to excel is just we know where construction companies struggle and uh, we try to make sure that we're good everywhere they're not. And I think we do a good job doing that. Uh, that's kind of our approach. Yeah, and you guys do wonderful quality uh, construction. People love you. Now, improving the branding. What we found with you, and I remember this these discussions coming up, is you had done a great job for a lot of people, but there was no proof online that that was true. So it was like you had great people that said great things about you, but there was no, we couldn't prove it. So we had to take the proof of uh, testimonials or actual clients that loved you. And we didn't say, here's a gun to your head, say positive things about John Kelly. No, it was more of like, okay, you've worked with John. Would, can we get you on video to just share 
uh, about your success working with him. How has that impacted your business, having actual clients that you've actually done real work for be testimonials on your website? Yeah, that is really good. I mean, it's it's nice to be able to just point somebody to the website and say, look, here, here from some people that we work for. Uh, they're not just taking our word for it. We have, you know, real life people on video, uh, yeah. you know, in different settings talking about our company. So it's, it's, it's been a really good feature to have. And it's an honor to work with someone like you. This is a true story, Sean. There was about three weeks ago, I was working with a guy and he wanted to become a client. And I was telling him, I said, well, the first thing we want to do when we work with you right away, we're going to go through this system. We're going to go through these 14 steps. We're going to establish your revenue goals. We're going to help you figure out your break-even numbers. We're going to figure out the hours you want to work, the unique value proposition. We're going to help you improve your branding. He's fired up. Yeah. And I said, and then we're going to have to call your former customers and get objective reviews on both Google and video. Mm -hmm. And he says, I got to be honest. I have, I, that's not going to go well for me. I go, why? And he's like, well, I mean, you see, um, I've got a lot of people who are upset with me right now. And I'm like, a lot? He's like, oh, yeah, that's part of the problem. You know, see, I did started some construction jobs, didn't finish them, true story, didn't finish them, uh, took payment, didn't finish them. So I'm kind of trying to change the name of the company you know, kind of doing a 180, you know, kind of a, and that, that happens sometimes. So again, that's why we only take on a certain number of clients because we want to work with high quality people here. It's a real thing. Now, creating a marketing stool, a three-legged marketing stool, a way to get customers that is sustainable, that doesn't involve you running around hucking business cards at Chamber of Commerce events. John, how helpful has that been knowing that you have search engine optimization happening every day, reputation management happening, those ads running? How, how has that helped you focus on your main thing, which is doing great quality construction. It helps a lot. I mean, you know, our, our background was a lot of public bid. We didn't do a ton of marketing. So, so this three legged marketing stool really helps, really helps get a lot of leads through the door, you know, more so than we've had in the past by a lot. Uh, so just the confidence of knowing that we're not just sitting there waiting on a public bid schedule to come out and see what we can bid. You know, we have some good, some other good jobs coming in that we can do. Yeah, 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 I wanted to yeah, go pile on on that. Yeah, I have some more awesome numbers. More I'm awesome the numbers. numbers guy. Go for it. All yeah. right, so the Dream 100 system is another one of that three-legged marketing stool yep. that we've implemented with John. And his total spend, he's buying cookies and dropping them off to architects. It's amazing what those cookies do, right, John? Those cookies oh, brought yeah. in. Those cookies brought in um, five million one hundred and twenty-eight thousand. And seventy-seven dollars worth of sales. Wait, 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 wait. The, 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 the Dream One Hundred is brought in how much? Dream One Hundred are sixteen thousand and eighty-nine dollars. We spent sixteen thousand and eighty-nine dollars. Okay, expenses. Yep, we brought in five million one hundred and twenty-eight thousand and seventy-seven dollars. Uh, of income, yes, Dream One Hundred income. Mm -hmm. Which again, if you look at the number and you go, man, sixteen thousand is that smaller than five million? That's a three thousand one hundred and twenty-eight point four seven percent return on marketing investment with that system. Now I want to pull this up real quick. If you go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash does it work, we have ex examples of real people we've worked with. And we try to archive and document the proven systems um, so that people can know that they do work. Oh, look at him. There he is. There he is. That was right after we started right there. He'd had a few million dollars worth of work coming through his office for the Dream 100 and got him fired up to keep going. So what would you say, John, to somebody other that says, ah, you know, the Dream 100 reaching out to my ideal and likely buyers and my ideal referral sources on a monthly or weekly basis and dropping off to them $16,089 of cookies over a five-year period of time, that'll never work. Yeah, man, I'd say you got to do it. It's uh, it's unbelievable, actually. And it's, it, it's worked great for us. And it's, you know, we really, really got a name out there, not even based off of our work, but just based off of the cookies. But, uh, <laughs> now, 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 John, I got to ask you this because this is a thing I deal with a lot. Is This is something I deal with a lot, and, and I'm not being disparaging of any clients. I'm just being very clear because this is, this is a real thing. I used to work back in the day with a church, and I worked with this church, and I helped them grow dramatically. I think they're still listed as a testimonial somewhere on our website. And the pastor at one point, he says, Clay, I've decided I'm, I'm not going to do coaching anymore. Um, I'm going to go, uh, you know, I've got my, my cousin. They're going to come in and work with me and we're going to do it. It's fine. You know, cause we have so many people that reach out. And so it, it's, I'm not going to hold somebody as a hostage if they don't want to be a client anymore. Well, uh, about, I don't know, four months later, he's going, Hey, can we talk? I said, what's going on? He said, man, the dream 100 is not working. The website's not ranked anymore. The ads aren't on. 
everything's falling apart, man. Can I come back? And I go, I, you know, we only take on 160 clients. So I don't know that I have a spot for you, but maybe we could in a few months. Um, and I, and I, but I did give him a teaching moment. And I said, I, as I was telling you, growing a business is like planting a garden. You have to pull those weeds every week. You can't just do it monthly. What would happen if you transitioned into, uh, you know, monthly coaching or bi-monthly coaching or quarterly coaching or well, you know, these are a lot of programs that do the quarterly. And I only know this because people call me after they've spent $30,000 on a quarterly coaching program. What would happen if you didn't have that weekly touch point there? Yeah, it wouldn't be, it, it wouldn't work because it's, there, there's a massive amount of stuff to keep your fingers on and without, uh, without somebody like Sean, you know, asking every week, Hey man, how are we looking at this? How are we, you know, what are we doing here? Get behind real quick. So, uh, I don't see it working if it's, if it's, you know, weekly is about as, about as small a window as you can give it. Yeah. Now, you know, in this a larger is a, window as you can give it, I guess, really. This is interesting. When I used to charge, right. you know, when I used to charge five and 6,000 a month to work with clients, I used to do daily check-ins with every single client. And uh, the reason why I switched to a weekly format was daily. My clients were all growing, but I think they got to a place where they all wanted to physically assault me. <laughs> they were all like, we're growing, man. Get off me, man. You know, so I don't know weekly gave us that healthy space and gave the client enough room. But uh, now we move on to these systems, the sales systems. You got sales scripts. You got recorded calls. You got one sheet. You got a lead tracker. Can you talk about the importance of having written down documented scripts and a lead tracking system so you know where leads are coming from? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the systems just save a lot of time for me. You know, everybody's not coming to me asking how you do this, how you do that. We kind of have a system spelled out for, for most of the most of the things in our business at this point. Uh, and then that lead tracking is just important. Just just you're getting so many leads and doing so many different things that it's hard to stay on, on top of it. So having that lead tra tracking page there where we can see, you know, one, where our leads are coming from, mm. two, what leads are out there that we need to take care of. It's big. It keeps us on track. Uh, keeps us moving in the right direction of what we're bidding and what jobs we actually have in progress and all that. So now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to skip through uh, a couple of the boxes. Again, you can go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash millionaire and download all this. And you can watch it, look at it, look at it for free on page five. Um, but we're going to go to the human resources. A big thing that uh, Clay Stairs does, that Sean does, that all these wonderful coaches do is they make sure that you're not um, in a spot where you can't find good people. Because that's one of the biggest things I hear. People say, oh, man, I would love to do the system, but I can't find good people, you know, because in, in, in Louisiana, you know, right now, you know, in Oklahoma, this time of the year. Mm -hmm. In Minnesota with the weather, California, you know, with all the hipsters everywhere, but Boston, you know, with the, you know, since Brady left, it's been tough. You know, there's, there's a lot of, and, and, and but we have a, a hiring system that we teach. Can you talk about the importance of the idea of never stopping recruiting, uh, hosting a group interview, just constantly looking at new people. Can you talk about that, John? Yeah. As you mentioned, uh, good people can be really hard to find. Uh, so without without a continual search, it's it'd be really difficult to fill a position you need. But we've been we've been doing the uh, doing this recruiting that you guys taught us. We've hired uh, close to nine people. I think it's around nine people at this point through that system. Everybody stuck with us, so we have, we're yep. getting quality people. Uh, we literally lost one person that we've hired through this system in the past five years. So uh, it's it's really important. It, it gives you high quality people and people people that stick. And then, like you say, you're continually looking for talent. So when somebody does pop up, you uh, you try to take advantage of it. Now, in my, in my dad's uh, shifting gears, you know, my dad's funeral, he died of Lou Gehrig's disease several years back. And when he died, um, that was, there was a finality to that. And that was pretty rough for me. Um, for, for It was just, wow. Um, leading up to that, though, discovering he had Lou Gehrig's disease, one of the things I, I said was I, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to call everybody that knows my dad, and I'm going to see if I can fly him out to talk to him. So that, you know, they could tell him what he means to him while he's alive, you know, and that way my dad could hear it because when you have Lou Gehrig's disease, everybody stops by and says, are you okay? And they don't know what to do. And it's this tough process, but people a lot of times don't hear the positive things about themselves until someone moves on or something. And I would just love, because you guys have a really cool win-win relationship and John is always running around here bragging on you. I want to ask you, Sean, what has made John such a great client to work with? Because we, you know, I mean, he's just salt of the earth. We absolutely love him. What makes him so great to work with? 
Uh, John's a, a just a very kind soul, as you mentioned earlier. Um, he's always got a good attitude, whether things are going great or not. He's able to he's able to smile his way through it. And uh, when it comes to his team, he does a great job with that mixture of being that accountability force and also being that that good kind of morale family guy at the same time. But uh, he really he really takes this all very seriously. And um, whether he likes hearing what I have to say about what the numbers are telling me or what his performance is like, he always he always takes it to heart. He doesn't fight me on any of that. And uh, he's he's here to grow for the sake of his F6 goals and his family's goals. And and he's just he's just an honest, diligent guy. And that's a rare enough thing out there. Now, John, I always hear uh, Sean bragging on you. So it's kind of a one sided thing. Mm. But for anybody out there that's thinking about, you know, reaching out and scheduling a one-on-one -on -one consultation to see if it's a good fit, um, what's it been like working with Sean? I mean, week after week for five years. A lot of people don't know people for five years. Think about that. Most people do not know people for five years. You guys have worked together every week. You've gone through a lot of stuff together. Um, what's it been like working with Sean? Yeah, Sean's a great guy. Uh, you know, one thing about Sean, he, he, you know, he practices what he preaches. He's very diligent. He stays on schedule. Uh, if he says he's going to do things, he does them. Uh, same thing for your team. You know, he says, hey, we're going to get the team to do this. The team does it. So it's nice to see you guys are doing what you're telling us to do. And it was, I can see it working on your side. We see it working on our side. You know, I think one of the big benefits that you guys have done for us is you know, kind of pushed us to the next level on a few things. We were kind of standing at the edge of the cliff, if you will, like for, for hiring people, uh, for marketing and those few things. And when Sean's been able to push us to go ahead and make those hires, go ahead and start doing that marketing. And uh, those things have paid off well for us. Well, you know, I, I, what would you say to anybody out there that's contemplating? They say, and, and, and they say, I'm thinking about coming to a conference or scheduling a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Who would not be a good fit in your mind? And who would be a good fit there, sir? Well, somebody that's willing to dig deep and take a, take a few slaps across the head when you're not doing something <laughs> right. But uh Overall, anybody just willing to really get in and work, and and it's going to take somebody that's willing to trust something that they may not know uh, to be true. But you know, to lean into you guys for that and, and take your word for it and, and do what you're telling them to make it happen. John, thank you for carving out time for your busy schedule. And again, folks, you can verify he's not a hologram. That's KellyConstructionGroup.com. And if you're listening now today and you are happen to be in his uh, service area, I believe that, that, John, you no longer service uh, Ecuador or Brazil or the Nordic countries, uh, Antarctica, well, that's out of the picture anymore. I think you and Sean focused. You're no longer working with South Korea and Australia. Uh, what is the service area that you're focusing on? Is there somebody listening right now that's in that area? What is the service area that you're focusing on? What, what city or what area? Yeah, we're, we're in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana area. So if you're in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana area, and you need construction and remodeling, that's the services you provide, correct? Yes. Okay, but if you're in Ecuador, you're looking for Thatch, he's not your guy. It's not thatch a match. In Ecuador. It's he not a do that match for Thatch. We got out of that business. John Kelly, thank you so much, brother. Have a great day. Thanks, John. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah. So, so what we want to do is we want to share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now. Okay. Um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from... Uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but that's come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. 
Right now our closing rate is about 85% and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten, people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We It was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in, in the refining process. And that has obviously, um, the 411% shows that that, that that system works. Yeah, so here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91%. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months, or I'm sorry, the first, we, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we, we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. It, and it's incredible, but, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. So. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that like you said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, with, with our with our business. Um, and we, we were in a rut and we so, didn't know. Oh, sorry. The last three years, our customer base had pretty much stayed the same. We weren't shrinking, but we weren't really growing either. Yeah, and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go, what to do, uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in. Uh, but Thrive helped us with that. You know, they, they implemented those systems, that they taught us those systems, they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed. Now it's been a grind, absolutely, it's been a grind this last year. Um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we at, where we're at now um, without their help. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Moore. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a market increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach, videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you are looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry, graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day-to-day. -day, he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, 
and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up, and he teaches people a 13-step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and that's what I like him most about him. He's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't... His highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or, uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See, it's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman, so we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts, and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the highest and most reviewed business workshops on the planet. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. 
The reason why I built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get-rich-quick, walk-on-hot-coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 Auto Auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same system that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you.